All right, Kunle, welcome. So today I want to talk to Kunle about um, your journey with uh, Yellowtail in general. So Kunle, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, let's start there. Um, tell us you, about yourself and most importantly, how did you stumble on Yellowtail and how did you start working with us? Oh yeah, my name is Kunle Ides and I just recently got it from the army. And uh, when I was in the army, I, we have a, a section called SASMO. So they do the IT stuff. So, you know, I've seen those guys, but if you talk to me about like actually getting into IT, I would tell you like, oh no, that is not my stuff. Because mm -hmm. I actually studied logistics. And, uh, you know, and my friend from Ohio was talking to me about the same IT stuff. I'm like, oh. That sounds interesting, but it's kind of busy because it's, it's going to train me, but it's, but it's very busy. So I started, you know, digging in, you know, making my research. That's when I met you. I couldn't remember, maybe uh, Facebook or Instagram. Mm -hmm. I know I met you and then uh, we had a talk and I, that's how I started with Yellowtail. And uh, my experience with Yellowtail has been, you know, fabulous, fabulous, the instructors, they were great. If not for Yellowtail, man, I won't be where I am right now because, you know, I'm loving life. I can tell you the job that I got was, you know, true Yellowtail because if, if I didn't get all the ends on from Yellowtail school, I won't be able to like, you know, pass the interview or, you know, if actually get a job. It was, it was great because everything in the program we set to you up for sources, no doubt. It's going yes. to set you up for sources. You follow the program, you follow the process, you're going to succeed. That's great. That's great to hear. But tell me a little bit, why Linux? There are a million ways to get into IT now that you, you were transitioning out of the army. Why did you choose that area of expertise? Actually, like I said earlier, if you're talking about IT, I have, I have zero experience about IT. Because uh, one of my friends, it was actually a Linux admin. The first thing he told me, it was like, okay, go on Google, Google Linux admin uh, salary, see how much they're making. And I did the same, I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's, that's money right there. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, that's when I started digging and I found you. Okay, okay. But um, I also know uh, you are in a very unusual uh, situation. First, you got a job even before finishing the program. Second, uh, that's probably the third or fourth person who've done that. You actually got certified by the last day of class. So you are kind of putting yourself in a league of your own. Tell us what happened, you know, what has helped, what has uh, um, motivated you so much to actually move so fast to the process? Well, the first thing is my family. I got to take care of my family. So I, I'm like, okay, I need to put in the hard work. You know, I have to put in the hard work. And uh, the job that I got, I really don't expect to get a job. I was actually setting up my profile, my LinkedIn, getting ready. Mm -hmm. And then uh, people started calling me like, oh, you have a security clearance, or oh, you have a, this is this, this and this is period, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I called one of the instructors. I'm like, okay, this is what is <laughs> going on. I'm trying to turn these people down. It's like, okay, don't turn them down. You know, just talk to them. You know, like every interview is a learning experience. And mm -hmm. that was the only interview I actually did with the company. And yeah, that's great. So, so to, to give context a little bit, as you are transitioning out of the army, you happen because of the work you were doing in the army, you are required to have some kind of clearance, some kind of security clearance of some sort. So that, uh, actually helped you as well in your journey to getting that job. Correct. That, that is correct. That is correct. Because, uh, like every agency has like a different requirements. Mm -hmm. Some of them will tell you uh, you have to be eligible for security clearance. Some the requirement is for you to have a security clearance. And I believe uh, the security clearance is one of the, you know, the stuff that actually helped me to, uh, to get the job. D definitely. But don't discount the work you've done being ready because the security clearance got you 
uh, in the door, but you got the job and you still came back. Although I've, I've seen people not come back when they get a job, they get distracted. You came back. Not only you did come back, but you end up having, making sure you get the certification by the last day of class, which is amazing. So don't discount that. Man. Right. right. <laughs> I, I always tell people like, okay, you can, uh, you can have all the certification. You can have all the degree, you can have all the technical knowledge. When you get to the interview, if you can't sell yourself, they won't be able to help you. I always tell people like, you have to put in the hard work. And uh, so when you get to the interview, you know what you're talking about. And uh, you know, people can make a resume, but when it's time for the in interviewer to talk to you about your resume, you, you, you must be able, you must be ready to. <laughs> defend the resume. I think that that's one of the important stuff when, uh, especially when you're looking for a job. Yes. Yes, definitely. You know, what's the plan from there? You have the job you came to get, you right. got the, the first certification you came to get. What's the next step? Well, like you said earlier, the process, yes, the process work. I'm still going to follow the process. All my coworkers, they all engineers. Mm -hmm. Linux engineer. So, All right. and, uh, you know, that's a motivation for me. And you guys <laughs> offer the program. So yes. my plan is to continue in the program and do the RECE. Yeah. Don't, don't forget that it doesn't matter how great you see things now. There's so much growth, so much left to do in your career, so much more money. Of course, it's not usually the first attraction, but there's so much more to do. So. We look right. forward to keep working with you and uh, helping you grow your career, man. Uh, thank you so much, Juby. Thanks to Yellowtail. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But thanks for uh, taking the time to talking to me. And most importantly, giving people uh, a different perspective of what students that come at Yellowtail look like in terms of background and their motivation and so on. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, man. Have a great day. All right, you too. You take care.